just doesn't happen very often in the history of science. Physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. And so that's what JWST is for, mapping the first billion years of galaxy formation. Hold on to your seats because the James Webb Telescope has just uncovered something that will leave you speechless. In a groundbreaking discovery that will revolutionise the way we understand black holes, the JWST team of scientists and astronomers recently took on the challenge of examining the inscrutable void of a black hole with the world's most powerful telescope. After months of observing and analysing data, the team has made a discovery that has left them all reeling with awe and excitement. What could they have possibly seen inside the black hole? Could it be something otherworldly? Join us in today's video as we unravel the secrets of what lies within a black hole as seen through the lens of the James Webb Telescope. As the James Webb Telescope was pointed towards the vast expanse of space for the first time, the unexpected results that it sent back took astronomers by surprise. The telescope's high resolution and sensitivity gave scientists and researchers the confidence to use it for more missions, even revisiting past observations done by other telescopes. The world of science was captivated as the powerful optical telescope delved deeper into space, revealing incredible discoveries with each observation. However, things took a dramatic turn when the James Webb Telescope was directed to peer inside a black hole. The excitement began when the telescope discovered the oldest black hole in our universe, a cosmic monster weighing in at 10 million times the mass of the Sun. Astronomers were thrilled to have witnessed this awe-inspiring phenomenon, but what they discovered next was about to change everything we thought we knew about black holes. The James Webb Space Telescope is an incredible piece of technology, with cameras so powerful that they can peer back to the very beginning of the universe. Recently, it discovered a supermassive black hole at the centre of a baby galaxy, just 570 million years after the Big Bang. As soon as the discovery was made, scientists began to speculate about what it might mean. Perhaps this black hole was just one of many that formed during the cosmic dawn, a time when the universe was only 100 million years old and was glowing brightly. But how did these black holes become so enormous? No one knows for sure. The scientists who made the discovery have published their findings, but they have not yet been peer-reviewed. This is just the first of many such findings we can expect from the James Webb Telescope. According to lead study author Rebecca Larson, we do expect that this black hole didn't just form, so there should be more that are younger and existed earlier on in the universe. We're just starting to be able to study this time in cosmic history this way with the James Webb Telescope, and I'm excited for us to find more of them. Black holes, born from the remnants of massive stars, have an insatiable appetite for everything in their path, devouring gas, dust, stars and even other black holes to fuel their growth. As matter swirls into their moors, the intense friction causes it to heat up and some black holes discharge light that can be detected by telescopes, turning them into active galactic nuclei AGN. The most extreme of these AGN are quasars, with supermassive black holes that can be millions of times larger than the Sun and emit a dazzlingly bright light that outshines even the most luminous stars. As scientists and astronomers delve deeper into the universe, they are able to peer further back in time by observing the most remote sources of light. The scientists and astronomers utilised the powerful mid-infrared instrument and near-infrared camera on board JWST to observe the sky. With the help of custom spectrographs, the team was able to break down the light into its individual frequencies, revealing an unprecedented spike that pointed to the hot material around a black hole emitting slight traces of radiation across the universe. However, while the discovery was groundbreaking, the mystery of how black holes emerged in the young cosmos still remains unsolved. Despite the efforts of several teams of scientists and astronomers on the hunt for primordial black holes, which some theories suggest formed before the Big Bang, the elusive black holes have yet to be found. And that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently made another groundbreaking discovery by spotting the earliest known galaxy to be suddenly and mysteriously quenched of its star formation. 
This galaxy, named GS9209, formed most of its stars in a hyperactive burst of activity between 600 and 800 million years after the Big Bang, but then suddenly stopped over 12.5 billion years ago. Lead author Adam Carnall, an astrophysicist at the Royal Observatory in Edinburgh, commented on the finding, saying, The thing that's particularly surprising about this is how soon after the Big Bang this galaxy shut down its star formation. In the past, massive galaxies were thought to shut down over billions of years, but this one was too young for that process. Studying GS9209 with the JWST revealed that this ancient galaxy had a spectacular start to life. 600 million years after the Big Bang, it burst into existence with an enormous burst of star formation, creating 40 billion solar masses worth of stars in just 200 million years, equivalent to the present-day Milky Way. The researchers attributed this burst to the giant gas cloud's rapid collapse and the turbulent conditions of the early universe, causing stars to ignite at a faster rate and higher efficiency than in the present-day universe. But abruptly, 800 million years after the Big Bang, GS9209 went quiet. The researchers now believe that a supermassive black hole hiding at the centre of the galaxy could be responsible for this mysterious silence. As black holes grow by continuously consuming gas, dust, stars and other black holes, the black hole at the heart of GS9209 grew large enough to become a quasar, shutting down the galaxy's star formation. More on quasars later in the video. If you have a massive black hole and stuff is falling into it, that leads to a lot of energy radiating out from that accretion, Carnall said. This is basically the only process that we think is capable of injecting enough energy into the galaxy's gas over a short space of time to either heat it up such that it doesn't collapse to form any more stars or to completely clear the galaxy out of star-forming gas. However, now that the scientists have made their preliminary findings on GS9209, they aim to delve deeper into the galaxy's mysteries using the Extremely Large Telescope ELT, of the European Southern Observatory ESO. The ELT is expected to start observing in 2028, providing the researchers with a more detailed view of GS9209's features. Another team, on the other hand, had continued their search for black holes using the James Webb Telescope after making groundbreaking discoveries of the universe's oldest black hole. This time, the team was astounded to find something even more unexpected. Carbon-bearing molecules called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons PAHs, located at the centre of three active galaxies. The surprising discovery was not just the presence of PAHs, but their location in galaxies where scientists never thought they could survive. Observations from the JWST's mid-infrared instrument also showed that the radiation around the supermassive black holes in these galaxies had completely altered the PAH's compositions. This has the potential to complicate a widely used technique in astronomy to calculate star formation and affect the molecule's usefulness as biological building blocks. Leading the team of astronomers was Ismail Garcia Bernetti, an astrophysicist from Oxford University in the UK. The three galaxies studied by the team were NGC 6552, located 370 million light years away in the Draco constellation, NGC 7319, one of the five galaxies in Stefan's Quintet, located about 311 million light years away in Pegasus, and NGC 7469, also in Pegasus, but at a distance of about 200 million light years. PAHs are carbon molecules arranged in a ring shape and are present in various parts of the universe, from our solar system's comets to far off galaxies. They are important as building blocks for life and they also serve as indicators for star formation. When illuminated by starlight's ultraviolet radiation, PAHs emit strong infrared wavelengths that can be detected by MIRI. This means that if PAHs are detected, there are likely young hot stars nearby. Astrophysicist Garcia Bernetti's research aimed to determine if the environment in the middle of active galaxies, where ultraviolet radiation around supermassive black holes is strong, has the same effects on PAHs as calmer star-forming regions in galaxy spiral arms. 
Prior models predicted that all PAHs would be destroyed by the harsh radiation in the core of an active galaxy. However, MIRI discovered that PAHs were still present in the central areas of the galaxies observed. Analysis showed that larger and electrically neutral PAH molecules remained, while smaller electrically charged PAHs were eradicated by radiation. This loss of small electrically charged PAHs poses a challenge for astronomers who use these molecules to detect clues for star formation, as these regions mostly contain these types of PAHs. If these molecules are damaged in active galaxy cores, it becomes challenging to locate areas where stars might be forming. In response, Garcia Bernetti suggests analysing a larger sample of active galaxies to understand better how PAHs survive in the nuclear regions and how to use them more accurately as tools for characterising star formation and galaxy evolution. When it comes to evolution, scientists and astronomers always hunger for more knowledge. And one of the most intriguing phenomena that has left them puzzled for ages is the singularity at the heart of a black hole. This mysterious abyss is where everything collapses into an infinitely tiny point, and our understanding of space and time completely breaks down. But guess what? Recent research suggests that this singularity may not even exist. Instead, scientists have come up with a fascinating alternative – a Planck star, which is the smallest possible configuration of matter. It's a theoretical possibility proposed by loop quantum gravity, a hypothetical way to create a quantum version of gravity. In the world of loop quantum gravity, space and time are quantized, meaning they are made up of tiny, discrete chunks that are too small for us to see. This chunkiness of space-time has two exciting implications. First, it helps us fully understand the dream of quantum mechanics and explains gravity naturally. Second, it makes it impossible for singularities to exist within black holes. When a star collapses, the discreteness of space-time prevents matter from being compressed beyond the Planck length, making black holes temporary objects rather than eternal ones. Although these massive objects will eventually explode, it will take billions or even trillions of years from our perspective. So we don't have to worry about them anytime soon. What do you think about these intriguing discoveries about black holes? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.